Well, hello there. Welcome back. Say, today I'm going to do 50 titles that's currently in stock that you can buy today. And uh, if you're like me, no, you can't afford all 50 today. But, you know, you might see a couple here that you say, you know what? I probably need to pull the pin on that. That's a good record to get. So I'm going to go over 50 that I have. And some of the ones I don't have, but I have a record, you know, the same record, but it's not the one that's currently in stock, and I'll show that. But we're going to start off with uh, Frank Zappa. And don't forget now to like the video. So I'm going to, I'm going to pause the video, and we're going to take a 10-second break for you all to go and like the video. You know, YouTube likes it. They like the likes. So do me a favor. Okay, thanks for doing the like thing on there. Okay, here we go. Frank Zappa, they've been reissued now. The Family Archive has got all his stuff. They got Bernie Grunman to remaster all the original tapes. And they sent them off to Palace in Germany. Which is the best place in Germany to get the records made. And they're doing a really good job. Now I used to have the original of this on the discrete and it's still in the shrink the record was like never played and I compared those two and this was a little bit better because if you've ever had this original of this record it sounds fantastic to start with is it that much better it all depends on how much you appreciate the fidelity but if you don't own this this is a great record here it's in print you can get it and it's fantastic and it's not you know crazy uh, one-step type of pricing so that one's in print in stock and this one's also in stock and these are my two Frank Zappa records anyway I've got a bunch of other ones but I went and got these on the reissue because I wanted the best one I could get and these are both fantastic and this one's even on a gatefold really nice job they've done on the records now I'm going to depart from the title a tad here. These are some records that are probably not in print. I didn't even check. But they're older records. And they're not expensive. But they are audiophile. It's this Anders Wollenweeder. Andreas Wollenweeder. I'll put his name up here. Maybe you can see it better. I don't know how much the camera gets in there. But... These records are all fantastic. I mean, I like hard rock. This stuff is not hard rock. It's just beautiful. And the instrumentation is different than a lot of records that you own. You won't have a lot of these types of instruments on your, the way, the sounds, the stuff that this does. Of course, you're going to go on YouTube and have a listen. But you can probably go to Discogs. You can go on eBay. You could probably buy these for eight, ten dollars, five dollars, whatever. They they were widely produced, and my two favorites are "Down to the Moon" and "The White Winds." But they're all good. They're all kind of similar. Really, really good records. And this audio file all the way. The sound on them for the money will, will, will really it'll impress people they, you come over you put one of those on you pay five bucks for it it'll blow their mind how great it sounds okay we got an XTC record this is a reissue it's on 2 LP super heavy white 200 gram vinyl cut from the original stereo master tapes so this XTC record is now available and it sounds really good. So that's another imprint record you could get. Now, from Analog Productions, Headhunters. It's available on the 45 RPM and the 33 version. Now, I bought this record when it came out probably in 74. And I had the original recording of it, which was okay. It wasn't great. And then when this came out, this the 33 came out first. So I bought this right away when it came out. And it was so much better. You know, Analog Productions takes the tape and they make it sound like a master tape. And they just do such a great job of, of giving you an audiophile recording of the event. 
Anytime you see this quality record sticker and this hype sticker, you know it's going to be a great, great record. You don't have to worry about that. So it's been reported the 45 version does sound a lot better. Well, maybe not a lot better, but it does sound better than the 33. It all depends on your budget and what format you like better. But I'm happy with my 33 version. It's so good. It's such a great improvement from the original. Quality Records has also done the some of the a lot of these Clearwater Creedence Clearwater Revival records, and I bought the Cosmos Factory when it came out, and this is on a 180 gram vinyl, and they're currently in stock. They're currently making them on the regular heavy the regular weight, which is 150 gram records. So that's what they're currently putting them out at. Now I remember Chad said in one of his videos here, one of his interviews that. They're so busy at the plant, the 200 gram records, it takes a lot of care and a lot of rejects and it's really hard to do a 200 gram record. So they're going to only going to do those like on the one steps from now on. They're not going to make them anymore because they're so busy. They just can't afford to hold it up for that process. And as well as if he does anything, it's going to be 180 gram and even those. So these are currently at 150 gram, but it's the same plate. It's the same everything. It's the same quality, it's just not the heavyweight vinyl. But they do a really good job on those Credence records. Now, let's put this to the side for a second. Ted Nugent. Analog Productions has also reissued this record and it's currently available on 45 and 33 RPM. This again, I got it when it first came out, it was on 33. I used to have the original Japanese pressing of it, and this was superior. Everything that Acoustic Sounds does is the best, in my opinion, I've ever... I've never got an Acoustic Sounds record, and no matter what it was, was it a MoFi, whatever it was, the Acoustic Sounds version was always better. Always. And not by, you know, got I listened 16 times, no. You put it on, you listen, you oh yeah, that's better. And I did a blind test with some of these records. One of them was that, that Credence record. It was this Credence record and a couple other ones. It was a Friday music record, a Moody Blues. Because someone asked me, can you tell the difference if you put a blindfold on? And So I had my son come on there and he put that Credence on, he put the other one, he put the Moody Blues, he, and I could tell every time which one it was. Because once I listened to those records, I knew what they sounded like and I could pick them out every time. I said, that's, that's the one, this is this. It wasn't, it's not hard to do for those records. Now here's another one, first put out by Classic Records, Muddy Water Folk Singer. Acoustic Sounds now owns all these plates and they're reissuing it under the Quality Records label and this record is phenomenal. The sound on it is great. I think they're also coming out with this now on a one-step. MoFi is going to put it out as a one-step. So if you have never owned this record and you don't mind spending $125 for a record, get the one-step. If you think $125 is a lot of money for one record, you can get the 2LP 45 RPM and you can get the 33. Now this is the 33 version because it's a classic records version. It is dynamite. This is great. It's on the 33 version. I'm so happy with this. This is what I own. I'm I'm happy with it, thrilled with the sound of it. Now also Acoustic Sounds has redone all of the Stevie Ray Vaughan music. So these titles that I'm going to show, these are all currently in stock. I think there was only one title that wasn't in stock, so I'm not going to show the record, but you can go over there. These are all available on the 33 RPM and the 45 RPM. And I think they also have a box set you can buy. I think that's also in print. All these Stevie Ray Vaughan records are all in stock and ready to be ready for sale. As well over at Acoustic Sounds, it's got all the Jimi Hendrix stuff. Quality Records is printing is is they're the ones that produce all of the Jimi Hendrix records, and these older titles they were all remastered by George Marino, and they are all great. Great, great sounding. And Chad has got all the plates over there. He's, he's making all these records for the family. These are all in stock. 
You can go buy them all. They're not expensive. They sound fantastic. They're better than the originals that I had. So there's no point in going and finding the OG when you can get all of these. Now this is the newest one. This is also in stock. It's available. It's a double LP. I think they're $35 or something like that for a double record. Made a quality record. It's 200 gram record. Fantastic. This one is, uh, I think it's a wedding repress. It's out of stock right now, but it's not out of print. Okay. So if you see a record like this that's out of stock, you can still, I think, call them up. And this one, you see, one of these is, and these are both, these are, and you can probably get these on eBay or Discogs. They're abundant. They're not, they're not overpriced. If it's, if you go to Acoustic Sounds or maybe go to Elusive Disc, maybe they've got them in stock. But all these Jimi Hendrix records are unbelievably great. Really, really. And the newer ones are better than the older ones, in my opinion. Especially that People, Hell, and Angels. When I say, I'm listening to Jimi Hendrix, I usually pull that out and listen to it. And guess what, folks? The box is back in stock. If you're a new collector and you don't have hardly any Jimi Hendrix records, and you want to get a ton of stuff and you're going to be happy, just get this box. There's eight records in here. It's got almost all his old music on here, plus a lot of outtakes and a lot of stuff that was never released. So you're getting everything you, you need right in here. And the records are 180 gram. You get a big book. The inner sleeves are all full of pictures. And the records sound phenomenal. It's all made at quality records. This one is also available not the Japanese version, but you can get this on a 2LP 45 RPM over at uh, Analog Productions. This is also in stock. Oh, there's a lot of Jeff Beck's. I think uh, Blow by Blow was out of stock, but the Wired was Wired was in stock and the Blow by Blow was out of stock. So even if you wanted to get the Blow by Blow, I think you can, like I said before, call them up, see if you can pre-order it. And when it's in stock, they ship it to you. Now these records I just wanted to bring up to your attention, they're not currently in stock, but they're not out of print. Okay, they're going to come back and MoFi is going to get RTI because RTI is so busy. That's where they get their records made. And whenever they can get caught up, they're going to reissue these records again. But they're currently out of stock, but they're not out of print. You might be able to call Music Direct and find out if you can order them. Now what's in stock is all these Doors records over at Acoustic Sounds. All these Doors, these are all the 2LP 45 RPM versions. And these are amazing sounding records. And they're all in stock. All the Doors stuff's in stock at Acoustic Sounds. Because that's who makes them. It's Analog Productions is making this stuff. Quality records. That's who's making the records. And Neil Young, this is a record Harvest came out just last year. It's on a 2LP. It sounds fantastic. Really, really does. I made a video on the record itself. I was so impressed with how great it sounded. And then you've got this Neil Young ORS stuff. See it on there, on the spine. That stuff is really, really good. The covers are phenomenal. When you see that on the record, that's the one to get. Because there's other places that are reissuing this stuff, but Neil, this is Neil Young's label. He's doing this stuff. And these are really, really good records. Now this one is live at Massey Hall, and it's on a, I've got a, the classic records version, but you know, Chad's got the plates again to this classic record stuff, so he's reissued this under his own quality records label. This is uh, are you are there type record and I did a video on this record itself. It's so good And these are all the ORS series Stuffs after the gold rush Yeah, and they're all big thick gatefold covers. This is all in my opinion 
they're all made better than they were ever made. The OG does not stand up to this stuff. The OGs are not nearly as good as those reissues. That's the kind of reissues I like to get. Now I've got this record. This has been reissued now by, and it's by Friday Music. So I was thinking of getting this title. Excuse me. But I can just stack it a little bit too tight. There you go. So I've got this towel on here because then they slide, they slide easy on here. Okay, so, like I was saying, these be have been reissued by Friday, not Friday Music, they've been reissued by Speaker's Corner. But Friday Music did reissue this at one time, and it was a dog. It was horrible sounding. It was like someone threw the blanket over my speaker. And at that time, I had a second edition Japanese, so I said, well, the best one's going to be the first. So I went and sourced one on eBay, and I got the first edition. And of course, yes, the first is so much better than the second edition, which was destroying that Friday Music record. Well, now, Speaker's Corner's got the tape, and they're making a record of it. So I, would, I think I'm going to buy that. Doobie Brothers Speaker's Corner reissue and I'm going to compare it to this and see who the winner is. And there's another title that Speaker's Corner has just reissued. This Billy Cobham Total Eclipse and this thing. When I put this on I'm jumping all over the place. I can't sit still. This thing great, great record. Now another record that just doesn't ever go away, it always seems to be in print in some version or other is Jazz at the Pawn Shop. This was a record that was recorded in, in Sweden, and I've talked about this a number of times, but it usually is in print. You can get it. It's one of the best recorded records ever. This is, was the standard, you know, audiophile rec record back in the 90s. This is the one that people always went to. And there's the Getz Gilberto. This is, of course, uh, one of the, on the Verve series from Acoustic Sounds. And it's a really good sounding record. Of course, it's still in print. And there's a lot of other records that they're doing on that Verve series that you can get. If you go over to Acoustic Sounds, anything that they're putting out on the Impulse or the Verve is always going to be great. And here's another record that is always in print, Nora Jones, Come Fly With Me. This is another one of the top audio file records that people go to all the time. And like I said, over at Acoustic Sounds, that Impulse series they're doing. And you know, they're all on the on the Stoughton, Tip-On, Gatefold. You know, Chad's going to do it up the right way. Look at that, it's even cracking on there. And this is just a great record. And all that stuff that Chad's putting out on Impulse is really, really good. If I can find that opening to this thing. Get it in there right away for you. Also over at Acoustic Sounds, the Dave Brubeck. This is the 2LP45. I think they have a 33. They're all in stock. Great, great record. And uh, I think it's Mike at the Ingroove. He still uses this all the time for a demo record because he thinks it's one of the best sounding records ever made. Even the OG was a record that people used to use for demonstration purposes. Now, another bunch of records that have come out here lately in the last year or so is this classic vinyl series from Blue Note. Now, Blue Note's got the classic series and they've also got the Tone Poets, but the Tone Poets, they come on those Stoughton shiny gatefolds, which we all love as record collectors, with the session photos and all. And that when you get a record like this, it just exudes quality, and it just, it just the pride of ownership is is worth the ten dollars because these cost ten dollars more, and they are pressed at RTI. They are pressed in the United States, but the classic series is a lot of the records that are worth a lot of money because they're hard to get, and there's old records that are all in, always in demand, but now the classic series records 
they have been, they've been remastered at the same place as the Tone Poets. They went to Kevin Gray, remastered them at Coherent Audio, just like the Tone Poets. The records are basically almost identical. The only difference is the, these classic series are pressed at optimal, but the records are plated at RTI and they're, they're remastered by Kevin Gray. All that's the same, it's just the pressing plant's different. So really the sound on the records is identical from the one to the other. The, the difference is really just the cover is what's different about it, right? You got your tone poet and the covers are, like I said before, they're so nice with the gate bolts. The classic series, they don't come on gate bolts. It's just your standard cover, but it's your above average record. The records are phenomenal. You try to buy an original of this record on a Blue Note label, yeah, you can't. we can't afford that. We're so lucky to be able to get records like this that have been remastered to such a high standard. And this, I have been collecting a lot of these records. Here's another Tone Poet. And another Tone Poet. Here's another, I, I pulled out some of these really classic, classic ones like the Sidewinder, Monin, Art Blakey. And we've got some Joe Henderson here. Yeah. Now there's probably 40 or more of these Tone Poet and classics that are out. So there's way over 50 records in you know, of all the records that I showed, plus these, there's way over 50 that are currently in stock that you can buy. And if you haven't got any of these jazz titles, it's worth checking some of them out. Uh, this is some good music, and the sound quality will, is, has never been better. And when you can get those tone poets, the quality of the covers has never been better. The whole package is phenomenal. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.